Hi, crackheads. What's up? Today, we're going to talk about ENTPs. I haven't talked about them in a while. Hot minute. That's okay. They've talked about themselves enough. <laughs> Okay. You guys take everything so seriously. Um, but then you guys don't take anything seriously. It's like you guys are so contradictive. It's, it's crack. It's crackhead energy. You take something serious when it's convenient for your narrative. And then when it's not convenient for your narrative, you're like, what? That's, that's a total, I'm trolling. About uh, going to get me cigarettes was, um, that's fine. Oh, uh, I have no problem with you making it better. But I, the thing is, there are specific ways in which it needs to be made better, and those involve uh, linking more. It basically involves data, data gathering and organization. I've got lots of data, but I don't have it organized. I don't have it. I don't have it put together for a purpose of proving something, for example, or establishing something. So the thing is, I'm not going to do that. You know, if we put all the data together and looked at it and it were, were assembled properly, and there's lots of data again, because there's lots of typing sessions, um, then we could meaningfully start to establish some links. But I'm not going to do that. It's established enough for my purposes. You know, it's like, um, kind of like, holy shit. My new life mission is to make sure everyone else's life is unfair now. So what they like to do is, is they like to just be the devil's advocate all the time because they think that makes them smarter than other people. They think if everyone thinks that the sky is blue and they say the sky is green, they're on some next level shit. I mean, is it brave to think the way you do or is it just attention seeking? Are you doing it because you want attention or are you doing it because you actually think there's a truth in it? I think ENTPs disguise their, I'm a truth seeker, um, just for the fact that they want attention because they didn't get attention when they were younger. Try as you might, you just can't hide, cause you're mistyped, and I've been waiting to pull you over all night, that police, that police, please pull that guy over, he says he's my MTP, but seems extroverted sensing to me, I think he's Police. Today we type somebody by the It is I, Sergeant Host Eric of the Type Police. I've got on my detective's hat today instead of my normal police hat. And uh, we are going to investigate a possible type criminal who I've got pulled over here underneath the badge. A very famous one, I must say, after we hear this very important theme song. Try as you might. Just can't hide, cause you're mistyped, and I've been waiting to pull you over all night, that police, that police, please pull that guy over, he says he's my MTP, but seems extroverted sensing to me, I think he's ESFP. Police. Try as you might, you just can't hide, cause you're mistyped, and I've been waiting to pull you over all night, that police, that police, please pull that guy over, he says he's my MTP, but see Extroverted sensing to me, I think he's ESFP or type police. All right, sir. I was talking to famous people, Sergeant Host Eric, the type police, and right now I'm undercover. 
Uh, Kimberly's helping. Um, we're, they call we're, me the Unabomber. <laughs> we're doing a stakeout where we're trying to solicit buyers for some fraudulent subtypes. We go after the, the dealers and the Johns, so to speak. Anyway, people won't buy a fraudulent subtype from a person who looks like a cop, so I got dressed like this. Anyway, I'll, you know, put my hat back normal and try to look as normal as possible, not like a scumbag thug, uh, after this theme song. Try as you might, you just can't hide, cause you're Miss Type, and I've been waiting to pull you over all night, Type Police, Type Police, please pull that guy over, he says he's my MTP, but seems extroverted sensing to me, I think he's Police. Welcome back to Type Police. Everyone just looks at you like you're an asshole, <laughs> but you don't care what other people think. That's the thing. So it doesn't even matter. So why do you even care? Why? This is the thing. If you're an ENTP, why do you care so much about changing the way that people think? If you don't even care what people think in the first place. I mean, God, do something productive. I think ENTPs are like one of the laziest freaking personality types because you guys are just arguing about nothing. Half the time you're arguing about stupid shit like, did dinosaurs exist? And like, what? <laughs> I've never experienced someone want to change the opinions of someone and then in the same breath literally be like, I don't even care what people think. Look at that since you racist. His basis for you being racist is because you typed some other girl ENFJ and she was white and he was black and he didn't act like her. You labeled him ENFJ because he is black. I mean, I labeled them both ENFJ because of how they performed on the various tests that I gave them, and I ignored affect as the significant factor. The dude on his channel is geeking. I don't know. Well, whatever. People can say whatever they want about me because I'm happy to uh, defend myself on anything. So it's like my position is if I actually am racist, good. Call me out on it. Let's let's let me fix that problem. Of course, I'm not racist, so I'm not worried about being called racist. I'm I'm the least racist person there is. Why? Well, because I'm fluidly transracial. Attention to my all attention to all black people in America. Isn't that the most stereotypical thing you ever heard in your life? You've seen racist people in your life, right? Isn't that something? Isn't that some shit they'll say? Is that some shit they'll actually say? Okay, let's continue with the video. Basis for you being racist is because you typed some other girl ENFJ and she was white and he was black and he didn't act like her. You labeled him ENFJ because he is black. I mean, at what at what point did I say that? At what point did I say that y'all try to put words into my words into my mouth to fit your nar narrative? Please look up any one of my videos and show me at what point did I ever say that? When did I say that? I'm about to show you real proof, though. Also, by the way, since you're with an INFJ close into that room, if if you said something about someone calling you racist, the INFJ would have been the first person to jump on camera to defend you for not being racist. But instead, she kept passive. That tells a lot about your inner life and what you say when the camera's not on. But let's continue with the video. Fun talking to intuitives and sensors? Not necessarily. I have fun talking to people. Um, it's hard to say. It's hard to say, like, this is a good, a strong correlation with, with that, or this is a good predictor of that. I can have great conversations with any number of people at any number of random times, or I can be not in the mood and not have a very good conversation. Same. So, I don't know. I feel like I can find anybody interesting. Yeah. Hi, Hibili. 
at her stepmom's house because uh, I no longer have my own place. I'm here at my dad's house. So if she were to move in with me, she'd have to move in here, which means she's not moving in with me. She'd be moving in with my dad. This is definitely my dad's house, not my house and not her house, you know? Mm -hmm. Such a baby. You're a smart man. There was a live where you was answering the question why niggers been mad so so since the election or when niggers gonna stop being mad. I ain't forget it. I saw it. My problem was I just didn't record it. You most likely edit that out before I could get to it. Probably. Probably not. Well, I know I've been searching for that for about nine, ten hours because I know, I know for a fact I saw it. I saw it because I watched it. Smart man. Yeah, this is what these racist people do. Smart man. You're like, uh-huh. I think ENTPs are so predictable though because everyone knows that you're just gonna spew some shit. You're just gonna word vomit everywhere and watch the chaos. I mean, emotionally manipulative to high heavens, the amount of manipulation that ENTPs do, it's like someone should study it. And for what? <laughs> and for what? Because you guys can't even have a genuine connection with anybody because half the time you're trolling and then when you try to be yourself, you get scared and you're like, oh my God. I don't want to be, I don't want to be me. I don't want to be real. Maybe it's because the real you is boring. Maybe you're boring. It is because if an ENTP shut the fuck up and stopped trolling and stopped just saying whatever the opposite of whatever the group is saying, what are you offering to the table? What, what do you specifically do? What talents are you bringing? You like to pick things apart and you think that's cool because you don't put anything back together. But the truth is, is that you're broken on the inside. The only people that ENTPs can be with for a long time, friends, family, relationships, ha what have you, are weak people, are people that are not going to challenge what you're speaking out into existence because you just want a bunch of mindless zombies around you that you can just manipulate. I Hi, smoking this weekend. Hi, friends. Host Eric here with Host Rachel. Hi. And today, I smoking this weekend. <laughs> Hello friends, and welcome to Talking with Fantasy Ghoul. If you're like me and Rachel, you're excited about this live stream. And that's what came this weekend. The only people that ENTPs can be with for a long time, friends, family, relationships, ha what have you, are weak people, are people that are not gonna challenge what you're speaking out into existence because you just want a bunch of mindless zombies around you. That's what came this weekend. I myself so I like. I know, I know, I know for a fact no one would like this talent. You just want a bunch of mindless zombies around you. That's what came this weekend. One of your fond memories, or one of your more, most fond memories from childhood involving me. So, I think that, like, for specifics, I really enjoyed, um, like, when we were, like, when I was growing up or whatever, and it was just the two of us. And you'd take me to like random places. Like, uh, I'm trying to think of like an example, like when you would take me to like go buy a dress from like, you know, those like Chinese dress stores, mm -hmm. you know, and, and just like little things like that where we would, hold on, Zuko's like, okay, he's fine. He's just being crazy. But um, where we would like go on little outings and it was just like the two of us or whatever. That was really fun. Um, but for, in terms of like things that like I actually like, specifically remember, I really enjoyed that period of time where we would do things like go to places like Devil's Canyon or like go to like photogenic places. And it was mostly like you forcing me and like me being like, no, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. And then me en ending up going with you and then really enjoying myself. You know what I'm saying? It's like so much pushback from me where I'm like, no, I'm, I, no I just want to stay home. Play video games, whatever, and then I would end up going with you somewhere and really enjoying myself. We have that same quality, though. My initial thing is, no, nah, 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 nah. then I had a yeah, good yeah. time usually. Yeah, I really enjoyed that Devil's Gate thing as well because um, it was uh, an opportunity 
Well, it was like, you know, as a teenage daughter, normally teenage daughters wouldn't want to share with their father that they went to this place that's it's illegal to go to to smoke weed with right. some characters that I don't know. But right. I was I was excited to. Uh... Uh, okay, let me see. Pretty boring hour. I came. I started studying a little bit for. I'm doing an IT certification, so I studied a little bit for that. And then I went for a walk. Very quickly, it was freezing. Uh, went for a walk. Usually, I put music in. I didn't listen to music this time. Went for a walk around the block. I did that for an hour. And so I also studied the IT certification for an hour, and that would be two hours. But if you're going even further back than that, I cooked up some beef. My mom made some squash. Okay. Beef, onions. Let's squash. talk about your walk. Let's talk about your walk. Yeah. Can you describe interactions within that community that bother you? What kind of interactions are they that bother you? I okay. I've like my chat's been pretty awesome, um, and I haven't really had like a lot of bad experiences. Um, so, I guess one kind of bad experience was, I guess sort of the most recent one that comes to mind is like, um, I was talking to. Ooh, okay. Actually, I have a actually. I think th I think this is the one that bothered. Sorry, I cannot see. Properly. This is the one that bothers me most. Um, uh, when people people have done this, but I think like like when anyone tries to uh, like say or um, imply that I'm not like playing fairly or honestly because. Like, I take fair play very, very, very seriously. Um, I mean, God, why don't you pick on someone that has some confidence? But you couldn't because they just would ignore your bullshit. <laughs> I am not. Oh, I am not an extrovert. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Ah, I literally have friends try to... Fr my my real friends have to drag me out the house, like, by my two feet to get me to go to a party. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I am not an extrovert for nothing. That's 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 actually a factual statement. But Okay, so I'll stop the recording, we'll end on that, okay? Um, we're in the real world and no one cares what you have to say. And ENTP wants to be understood, right? But you're never gonna be understood because you're never gonna be real with anybody. You're just spewing out this word vomit and trying to pick people apart because you know that you're never gonna do anything with your own hopes and dreams. So, oh my God, this person has hopes and dreams and they think this way, let me tear them down. I know what I'm getting. I'll push a fake nigga to the side, now I'm sinning. That's cool, I'm down to be a villain. The ratchet kicked back, so strong the shit came with a Netflix subscription. The love I got plenty would make a toast to the op success, but they never had any. They don't do anything with your own hopes and dreams. So I'm- That's smoking this weekend. That's smoking this weekend. The little boy. I had opinions about how things would go. I was so under understanding of that everything turned out so wrong. This person has hopes and dreams and they think this way let me tear them down a little bit because i i'm never gonna try to chase after what i truly want you want people to be zombies you literally take the happiness out of people until they're left with nothing and then you're just like oh i guess i'll go find a new toy 
Pet smoking this weekend? Pet smoking this weekend? You guys are afraid to be real. So you cloud yourself and everybody around you with all these ideologies of what ifs and this and that, and you try to tear things apart. You try to be the little internet troll. You try to be the joker. You think it's fun. You think it's mischievous. You think it's whatever. But in the end, you're going to be alone. You're going to have done nothing with your life. And all you're going to have to show for it is the fact that you have no friends and no one understands you. I was at mom's house because uh, I no longer have my own place. I'm here at my dad's house. So if she were to move in with me, she'd have to move in here, which means she's not moving in with me. She'd be moving in with my dad. This is definitely my dad's house, not my house and not her house, you know? Mm -hmm. so and you're going to be alone. You're going to have done nothing with your life. And all you're going to have to show for it is the fact that you have no friends and no one understands you. That's smoking this weekend. 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 Remember that. Remember it. Write it down. Take a picture. I don't give a fuck. Chris. Bye, Felicia. Damn. Y'all stingy.